Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Maxine makes major announcement about her future. She's in fear for her life. Looks like Representative Maxine Waters, DCA, is now playing the victim of the mean old right to the hilt. Fresh off calling for violence and harassment against Trump administration officials, Waters is now claiming she is the target of death threats and has announced she is canceling all her upcoming appearances and events out of fear for her life. Right. This is straight out of the leftist playbook. Accuse the right of what you were doing to them first. She was scheduled to appear at events in Texas and Alabama this weekend, but no more. She canceled due to an alleged very serious death threat made against her. Do you believe her? Me, not so much. In a statement given to CNN, of course, Waters said that after President Trump took aim at her on Twitter on Monday, even more individuals are leaving threatening messages and sending hostile mail to my office. Here's what Waters had to say. As the president has continued to lie and falsely claim that I encouraged people to assault his supporters, while also offering a veiled threat that I should be careful, even more individuals are leaving, threatening, messages and sending hostile mail to my office. There was one very serious death threat made against me on Monday from an individual in Texas which is why my planned speaking engagements in Texas and Alabama were cancelled, sick, this weekend. This is just one in several very serious threats the United States Capitol Police is investigating in which individuals threaten to shoot, lynch, or cause me serious bodily harm. I believe in peaceful, very peaceful protests, she said Monday on Capitol Hill. I have not called for the harm of anybody. This president has lied again when he's saying that I've called for harm. First of all, she did encourage her followers to assault and harass Trump supporters. There's plenty of videos out there showing exactly that. To say it was anything less than that is extremely disingenuous. Second, Trump was not threatening her. He was warning her that she was coming perilously close to being in trouble with the feds for threatening Trump and conservative Americans. If she is indeed receiving death threats, she brought that on herself. I don't condone it and they need to be stopped. But she knew what she was inciting when she started all of this. In fact, the California Democrat doubled down again and urged supporters to continue to intimidate Trump administration members when they are spotted in public. Waters knows exactly where that leads. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen had their dinners interrupted at separate restaurants by people who disagreed with President Trump's zero-tolerance immigration policies. If you think we're rallying now you ain't seen nothing yet. If you see anybody from that, Trump, cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere, Waters shouted at a Los Angeles rally last weekend. Here we were getting the country focused on kids being separated from their parents as a matter of border policy, and I think we were making enormous gains in that national debate, said Democratic Congressman Jerry Connolly of Virginia. So I don't want to see us distracted by calls to deny retail services to targeted members of the Trump administration. I think that's unhelpful. That's softballing the issue. It's not distraction or unhelpful when Waters calls for people to attack conservatives, it's incitement to violence. Trump supporters are worried about being beaten or killed in the streets because of her rhetoric. President Trump shot back, saying Waters called for harm to his supporters. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, an extraordinarily low IQ person, has become together with Nancy Pelosi, the face of the Democrat Party. She has just called for harm to supporters, of which there are many, of the Make America Great Again movement. Be careful what you wish for Max. Again, that's not a threat, that's a warning her that if there is violence, she will have to answer for it. Waters has been one of the loudest and most consistent voices calling for the president's impeachment since his first day in office. Considering Waters' track record, I am very skeptical concerning her claim of death threats. Reached for comment, a spokeswoman for the U.S. Capitol Police said they do not comment on ongoing investigations. I don't cry about protests, Waters said earlier this week. People protest me all the time. People come to my district office. That's their right. The only time I have anything to say about protests is when they threaten to kill me, then I turn that in. Otherwise, protests is the American way. She loves the attention and makes half of this stuff up. Waters is actually helping Trump here. With her hateful grandstanding, she's driving more and more voters over to the Trump camp. President Trump tweeted earlier this week that Waters called for harm to his supporters and railed against her in rallies in North Dakota and South Carolina. Americans cheered their support of the president over it. While Maxine Waters is announcing she is in fear for her life and cancelling appearances because of it, 
She's not backing down in the least calling for the left to engage in violence with the right. She's actively tearing this country apart with her divisive rhetoric. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.